We have another update now to a tense situation in Cranston. Police continue to investigate after a man was found dead inside his home last night following an hours long standoff. Multiple shots were fired even at the responding officers. Authorities say the man had terminal cancer and they believe he died by suicide. The man's wife says he first started shooting at her, but she was able to get away. New tonight, Sheena Loshudo spoke to neighbors who say they hope that this can serve as a reminder to check on your loved ones and offer support or resources if they need. Sheena is live now at the Cranston Police Headquarters. Police say they tried speaking with that man for hours before eventually finding him dead inside of his home. Now, this was a massive police presence last night. Immediate neighbors were asked to evacuate, while others were told to stay inside and stay low. Windows are being boarded up, a family is grieving, and a police investigation is underway. Cranston police were called to Harding Avenue on Tuesday night for reports of a man who shot at his wife inside their home. Police say the wife escapes and calls 911. Officers are soon met by gunfire. The officers arriving on scene, they were fired upon pretty quickly when they got out of their vehicles. No officers were hit. A home across the street was. You can see the bullet hole here. Authorities from several departments soon rush in, leading to an hours long standoff. <coughs> the man police say fired the shots. 69 year old Neil Douglas was later found dead inside, where it appears he turned the gun on himself. So for four hours, one of the uh, officers was negotiating with him. There was never a response. If you can establish communication, you have a good chance of resolving these. Unfortunately, um, the individual we believe took his life before we could even do that. Cranston's police chief says the department has officers specially trained to talk with people in crisis, which is what neighbors heard unfolding over a speaker. Also adding that the department has resources for residents who might be struggling. Unfortunately, last night's situation, we believe there was um, some uh, threats that were made prior to um, this incident happening, and unfortunately, they were never reported to the police. So we just ask that if somebody is being threatened or they see a loved one that's in a mental health crisis, that they, re they report it to the police department. And you can always call police. That is the big message from the Cranston Police Department today. If you ever hear a friend say something concerning or make a threat, the police chief says you can call police. They have specific resources, clinicians who work here, and they can all make sure that you get the help you need. Thankfully, no one else was hurt here. Now, Sheena, I was also reporting last night as this all unfolded. We saw police from Providence State Police Warwick there at the scene as well. And police here in Cranston are very thankful for the resources that the other departments were able to provide, like the armed vehicles from Providence. We'll have much more on how all the agencies work together. New at 5 o'clock. All right, Arshina Loshudu reporting live in Cranston. Sheena, thank you.